Today is a pack and ship video for you, but before we get started, I promised a few weeks ago to have the drawing for the blue jumping jack. I didn't get all the names written down this time, so I'm going to just, I pulled up the video, I pulled up the comments, I'm going to just randomly scroll, touch the screen, and see who won. Well, that person didn't put JJB, so let's do this again. I'm gonna just scroll it and grab a name. Suzanne Webb, you're the winner of the JJ Blue Jumping Jack. You said in your comment, I learned so much watching your videos. Thanks, JJB. Suzanne, contact me via my email in the description below so I can get your address and get this in the mail to you. Congratulations. And I might sneak one in in this video. You never know. You gotta watch the whole thing and see if there's one. May not be blue though. Could be orange, could be green, could be white. Who knows? Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. Today is a pack and ship. I'm going to show you step by step how to pack and ship some fragile or some unusual shaped items that I sold on eBay recently. And I show you step by step so you can do this too. Sold this two-piece cobalt blue glass and chrome plated creamer and sugar bowl for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. This creamer and sugar bowl is actually two pieces for each item and they fit in here kind of loose. I need to protect the glass while at the same time try to keep the package as small as possible but I know I definitely have to wrap this glass separately. I have some tissue paper so let's start with that. Will this fit back in? I don't know. Looks like it's going to. Let's try the uh, sugar bowl. found this set at a garage sale and I think I paid three dollars for this set. Okay, now I'm going to wrap each of these in tissue paper to kind of hold everything together. I'm going to use some masking tape. And now we need some large half inch bubble wrap. I'm going to try just one square first and this is large half inch bubble wrap. I'm not sure if it will make it. I think it will. Again some masking tape. Make sure it's secure. I'm going to add a little extra across the top to both of these. I can feel the edge of the uh, metal here. I think it'll be okay once I package it some more, but I need to get an idea of what size box I need. Let's take a measurement. It's less than eight inches. I have two options. I can either stack them and probably fit them in an eight by eight by eight box or put them side by side, which I would prefer to do. And I have an eBay box that's 12 by six by six. Let me get it assembled. Piece of tape on the side seam, always important. Let's do a test fit. That's going to work great, but I need some more bubble wrap. Or oh, these air pillows, which work great. Fills up the bottom. Those fit good, however, I'm going to add two more sheets of large bubble wrap before I slide them in. And I'm going to check the sides and make sure that I know what side I want to face the outside of the box. Looking pretty good. I have these corners to fill in. Let's see if an air pillow will fit. I think they fit pretty good, the air pillows. Let's fold this, oh, my thank you note. I run these 30 up on a sheet of labels. I'm gonna add one to one of the packages here. And let's fold the bubble wrap over and see if we have any room left. You know what? I think that's going to do it. I mean, I had thoughts of adding more, 
uh, another air pillow, but well, let me check the ends. Looks like I can fit another one on each end. Let me try to close it up now. I think that's going to do it. That was pretty easy. See, if I can do it, you can do it too. Let's get it taped up. Do you try to square up the box? Press your tape down and cross tape. This is really good tape, so I don't have to tape it all the way around and around. I always use the uh, Scotch Heavy Duty Shipping Tape. Not sponsored, would love to be sponsored. But there you go. And you know what? I'm going to add a little extra on each end, pushing that down. Let's turn this upside down, taking a fine point Sharpie. Um, creamer and sugar. This cobalt blue creamer and sugar is going out to RD in Florida. Let's get it in the mail. If you're enjoying this pack and ship video, I invite you to subscribe and ring that bell notification so that you don't miss out on all my other pack and ship videos. I've got quite a few out there right now. Keep watching, there's more. This vintage oil lamp that was converted to an electric lamp sold for full asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. I paid only $3 for it at a garage sale. The first thing I decided to do is wrap some tissue paper around the neck. And I like to take the sheet of tissue paper by one corner and run my hand down through it to elongate it. And for this I'm just using regular household tape. And I'm using a small piece of small bubble wrap to wrap around turn switch on the lamp. And I'm adding some small quarter inch bubble wrap to the top of the lamp and taping it in place. Now this is a very unusual shaped lamp. So I just have to figure out as I go how to protect it for shipping. The narrow base at the bottom of the lamp is a real concern. I've got to figure out how I can pad this and protect it for shipping. I decided to start with a sheet of tissue paper just to protect the finish and to give slight padding. I know I often say tissue paper doesn't do anything to protect from breakage, but if you wrap enough layers, like I'm doing here, it can give a little bit of protection, but you always need bubble wrap on top. Time to get out the large half inch bubble wrap. I'm just folding this piece in half, and this time I'm using packing tape to secure it. The 12 by 12 sheet of bubble wrap, the large half inch bubble wrap, isn't long enough to wrap around. So I decided to cut it in half and tape it together to make a long piece of large bubble wrap. It overlaps some, but that's just fine. I just have to tape it with some packing tape. Let's go ahead and take care of the cord. I'm using some small quarter inch bubble wrap. Just gonna wrap that up and tape it and kind of get it out of my way for a minute. And then using one square 12 inch by 12 inch of the large half inch bubble wrap, I'm going to protect the base or the bottom of the lamp. And I decided to fold up and in each corner and tape it with packing tape. And to protect the top, I decided to add another square of the large half inch bubble wrap, taping down each corner. You know, I think it looks pretty good. It's time to take a measurement. At 12 and a half inches tall. It's not very wide. It's only about eight inches, but 12 and a half inches tall. Let's find a box. As you see here, I've pretty much protected everything with large half inch bubble wrap. The center, the top, the bottom, wherever it's needed. And actually trying to make it more of a square than it is round. I'm going to be using a 15 by 10 by 6 eBay box. I would have preferred that it was 8 inches high, but this is the only box I have that's going to possibly work. Let's see. Just barely going to make it, but I've got to make it work. Let's add some bubble wrap to the bottom. Three sheets one direction, and today I'm using three sheets the opposite direction because it's a long box. I know this is going to add height. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Is it going to close? Hmm. I might have to extend the box a little bit. It's not quite closing. Not what I wanted to do, but first I need some air pillows in here. 
five down each side between two this end see if I can fit two at the other end maybe maybe not okay not that to fit. looks pretty good my only issue is the height and oh yeah my thank you tag adding my thank you label put an air pocket here take some of the pressure off the center this is not what I prefer to do but I have to extend this box just slightly I think I'm going to need to extend it about one ruler width I have a scoring tool I'm going to line this up it's going to work is it enough okay it's pretty good repeat the process on all four flaps right-handed so I'm going to have to spin this around and get this into the right position it's not easy to do it's a little a little awkward but I don't have to squirt real hard so I'm going a little slower than I normally do what? I have this shoe box sitting on the floor here I almost need something underneath here to hold it for me. I think this will work better. Okay, spin this around. Okay, I already did this flap. See what we're doing here? Get rid of this one. I never thought about using a prop underneath before, but this is actually helping a lot to give my flap some stability. So that's the tip of the day. If you need to add an extra box, this is just a shoe box, an empty shoe box I was going to cut apart and recycle the cardboard. But maybe I won't cut it apart now. The score enough to be able to bend it, but not to puncture through. Okay, one more flap to go. We're almost there. Okay, we're done with this. Let's check the fit. I can use, I think, a little more bubble wrap in the center. Holding the short ends in first. And you know, I like to uh, tape the corners first. Make sure they are lined up. I'll add more tape, but this is a temporary piece. Well, not temporary, but it's a stabilizing piece of tape. Let's do this corner. If you hear any noise upstairs, my husband's loading up the truck to deliver some items. Sorry if you can't see very well. Okay, now the centerpiece. I have some scrap cardboard. This is pretty thin though. This feels a little bit better. I'm going to measure it and mark it. I'm going to mark this for the width and for the length. Get my cutting board and cut this out. I'm going to cut the length first. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cut the width. And before I do that, needs to be two and a half inches wide. I'm just going to make a little mark down here. Got it. Save your scraps of cardboard. You never know when you'll need them. Let's check the fit. See how I did. Looks pretty good. Let's get it taped in place. I'm going to tape the ends first. And then tape some more. This oil lamp converted to a table lamp is going out to JS in New York. If you'd like to try to win a jumping jack along with your regular comment, put JJG in the comment section. I'll do the drawing within a couple of weeks. Keep watching, there's another pack and ship. This is what keeps me hooked on eBay. Woodcraft series of American Boys Book of Signs, Signals, and Symbols by Dan Beard. It's a 1918 printing and it sold on ebay for $149.95 that's why i do this because you never know what you're going to find and what it's worth i'm sending this book priority mail for the insurance i've placed it in a plastic bag with our thank you label i have some small bubble wrap put cardboard on the bottom created a little frame out of pieces of scrap cardboard that i've cut to the thickness just kind of tape it around and I'm adding another piece of cardboard to the top and then I will fold this up and get it taped up and although I'm mailing it in a 
powdered flat rate envelope and I've bubble wrapped it. I'm going to see if I can also fit it into an eBay envelope and uh, double for even more padding. I couldn't fit it the direction that I wanted to, so I have this excess on the side, which I'm not going to tape it necessarily, but I'm going to fold it in and I think it's going to slide in here just fine. And look at that, it's going to be just fine. I think I've done everything I can to protect this book. You know, I did do free shipping on this book and they did pay full price. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a win-win. I think I have $2 invested into the book. Bought it at an estate sale last summer. I'm very happy with this sale. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.